Unit 7, Lesson 10, Interpreting Inequalities. Number one, there's a closed carton of eggs in my refrigerator. The carton contains E eggs, and it can hold 12 eggs. A, what does the inequality E is less than 12 mean in this context? It means that there are less than 12 eggs in the carton. B. What does the inequality E is greater than zero mean in this context? There are some eggs in the carton. C. What are some possible values of E that will make both E is less than 12 and E is greater than zero true? E could be any value from 1 to 11. Number two, here is a diagram of an unbalanced hanger. A. Write an inequality to represent the relationship of the weights. Use S to represent the weight of the square in grams and C to represent the weight of the circle in grams. This inequality can be expressed as C is greater than S or S is less than C. B. One red circle weighs 12 grams. Write an inequality to represent the weight of one blue square. This inequality can be expressed as S is less than 12. C. Could zero be a value of S? Explain your reasoning. No, zero could not be the value of S because S is greater than C and must have a value. Number three, Tyler has more than $10. Elena has more money than Tyler. Mai has more money than Elena. Let T be the amount of money that Tyler has. Let E be the amount of money that Elena has. And let M be the amount of money that Mai has. Select all statements that are true. I selected B. M is greater than 10. Because Mai has more money than Elena, Elena has more money than Tyler. And Tyler has more than $10. I selected C. E is greater than 10 because Elena has more money than Tyler and Tyler has more than $10. I selected D. T is greater than 10 because Tyler has more than $10. And finally, I selected F. T is less than E. Elena has more money than Tyler, so Tyler has less money than Elena. Number 4. A. Jada is taller than Diego. Diego is 54 inches tall. That's 4 feet 6 inches. Write an inequality that compares Jada's height in inches, J, to Diego's height. This inequality can be expressed as J is greater than 54. B. Jada is shorter than Elena. Elena is 5 feet tall. Write an inequality that compares Jada's height in inches, J, to Elena's height. 5 feet is 60 inches because 5 times 12 is 60. This inequality can be written as J is less than 60. Number 5. Which is greater, negative 9 over 20 or negative 5 tenths? Explain how you know. If you get stuck, consider plotting the numbers on a number line. I can compare negative 9 twentieths to 5 tenths pretty easily because I notice that I can multiply the 20 times 5 to get 100 and I multiply 9 times 5 to get 45. So now I have negative 45 hundredths. And still I have a fraction on one side and decimals on the other and it's not so obvious. But I can turn this negative 45 over 100 into negative 45 hundredths just by writing it as a decimal. When negative 45 hundredths is written as a decimal, it becomes much easier to compare to negative 5 tenths, and I've rewritten negative 5 tenths as negative 50 hundredths. So when we compare negative 45 hundredths with negative 50 hundredths, it gets even easier if I put it on a number line. Negative 50 hundredths is smaller than negative 45 hundredths. It's further to the left. So negative 9 twentieths is greater than negative 5 tenths. Number six, 
select all the expressions that are equivalent to 1 half to the power of 3. 1 half to the power of 3, that's the same as 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. So we certainly can select A. And 1 half times 1 half times 1 half equals 1 eighth. So we can select E. 1 half times 1 half times 1 half is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the third power. So we can select B. We cannot select C because 1 third to the power of 2 is the same as 1 ninth. And we cannot select D because its value is 1 sixth. And we're looking for a value of 1 eighth. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 10, Interpreting Inequalities.